G'day guys, I'm over in Echuca Moama today. I was originally going to fish the Murray River in the same spot where I got my PB Silver Perch the other week, but the river is so high that spot would have been very tricky to fish. So I've backtracked a bit and I'm going to drown some worms in Horseshoe Lagoon in Moama. I'm going to have to re-rig my rods because I'm using massive sinkers for the current in the Murray River. And Horseshoe Lagoon, well, it has zero current, so I'll do that in a sec. Before I do, I'm going to throw in this shrimp net with a bit of dry cat food out here next to the log to hopefully get another bait option. Righto, I've never fished Horseshoe Lagoon before, but I reckon there's carp in here, if not something else. I'll put the first bait over near the log there. And the second one, both baited with Janjuk worms by the way, on a running sinker rig. The second one can go over near the bridge over there. Beautiful. Now there is bound to be carp in here, but I reckon there'd be some reddies in here as well. You never know, there could be anything in here with the floods. The river's only just over there. So with the floods last year, anything could have come into this lagoon. It's getting a tiny nibble on this rod. I was watching the line when it happened. It didn't even ring the bell, so he wouldn't have felt any weight yet. He should come back. He didn't come back. <laughs> Still got bait, that's good. Had a tickle on the one over near the bridge. That's a bite on both rods now. Let's see if I can get this one. The other one didn't come back for a second go. But I'm hoping this one does. Obviously. <laughs> Missed. Bugger. He had a decent go at it. I just didn't get the hook into his gob. Bugger. All right, I'll pop it back out. Early bites is good. That is the tiniest tap I have ever seen. I'm guessing it's a shrimp, but I'm gonna pick up the rod anyway, because it's been pretty quiet. You never know, there might be a fish toying with my bait. Got him. It was a fish. It's a little carp. <laughs> he did not want to get caught. He come flying out of the, whoa. This guy's got some energy for a little one. <laughs> he came flying out of the water. <laughs> well, I was right about there being carp here. And I was assuming I can beach him here, because I won't even bother with the net with this little guy. I have one fish on the board. Let's get up away from the water, and we'll have a look at him. Mate, you've saved the day. I didn't think I was going to catch anything for a bit there, but one little 30 centimetre carp pulled out a horseshoe lagoon in Moama. And he's going to get a thump with one of them sticks over there. Thank you very much for taking the bait, mate. <clears throat> you were a bit of fun and a bit of a laugh. And now you'll say goodnight. See you later. Well, it took me nearly an hour. I was starting to lose hope, but I've landed a fish. So I'm going to stick it out for a couple more hours and see if I can get some more. Well, when I fished the Murray the other week, just over there, I think I caught about... 10 fish in the first hour <laughs> I caught one here and if you can hear some machinery noises in the background they're just upgrading the path between the walkway there and this walkway so there's a bobcat and a few trucks driving around hopefully it's not too loud on the video bite on this rod now it's a bit bigger than the tap I got on the other rod so hopefully it's a bit bigger of a fish <laughs> Any fish will do though. Let's get another one. Come on, come back. First bite in a while. Let's see if this one wants to come back. They're teasing me. The ones that bite are teasing me. Oh, I'll check my shrimp net. This will be the fourth time I've pulled it in, I think. I haven't got anything in it yet. It doesn't look like that's going to change. Might not be any shrimp or yabbies in here, or maybe I've just picked a bad spot. Maybe I'll try the other side of this log. I don't know if it'll make that big of a difference, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> a 
Got him. I just moved that in closer. Whoa, decent carp too, I think. I just moved it in about halfway in because it was out where he is now. Jesus Christ. Come on, mate. He does not want to come in. Oh my God, this must be a huge carp. Either that or my drag's a bit loose. I'll try giving it a couple of clicks tighter. I hope he doesn't snap me though. Gee whiz. Now let me finish what I was saying. I was cast out where he's swimming now, but I moved it in halfway closer because I thought, geez, they're, uh, get out of that tree. They're not biting out there, so I'll try something different. He's wrapped me around the bridge pole. Come on, mate. Back around this side. Yes. Um, yeah, it was just out here. And uh, this massive guy came along. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's much bigger than the first one I caught. <laughs> I hope I'm recording because it's been very quiet. I've been here for about two hours to hook my second fish. Oh, my God. He's pulling drag. Oh. Not a bad carp, size-wise. I think I'll use the net for this one. You ripper. Oh. Thank you, mate. You've put a smile on my dial. Come on, this way. Head first. Beautiful. Got him. Let's get him up the bank and have a look. I was just putting some fresh worms on the other hook at the same time when that bit. I was not ready. <laughs> that is a beast of a carp. Look how fat it is. No wonder he was pulling drag. Holy moly. Did you look at this thing? Might even get a measure on this one. He's throated the hook. Good luck to me getting that out. I'll knock him on the head first, probably. Well, I thought he was going to be over 60, like 65, but he's sitting at about 58 and a half. What a thick carp. Look at this thing. <laughs> Let's hold him up and have a look. And then I can knock him on the head and do some surgery to get my hook back look at the gut on it <laughs> thanks for coming to play mate you were a lot of fun <laughs> see you later you're going to join your friend down there <laughs> all right we are re-rigged after getting my hook back and removing my terribly stretched line and it was just out here look just like that not far at all <laughs> i'm definitely putting it back in that spot That's definitely a bite. I saw that. It was being blown by the wind and then the line got tugged a few times opposite to the wind direction. So there's something playing with the bait. And considering I've caught zero shrimp or yabbies, I think any of the bites I'm getting are from fish. <laughs> Safe to assume, I think. I'm going to tap on the other rod while I pick this one up. He didn't come back in a hurry, so I'll pop it back down just watch it and see if this one wants to come back it's just a tiny tap but that's all they've been doing except for that massive one that hooked himself herself I think <laughs> with a gut like that I'm assuming it was full of eggs something's on that something's on that oh he dropped it something had the bait Let's see if he wants to come back I was just re-rigging that one after being snagged. Every time I seem to do something with that rod, this one bites. <laughs> Got him. Nowhere near as big as the last one. He'd be closer to the first one I caught. <laughs> Much easier to control, but it is another carp. Let's drag him up and out. Sorry, mate. <laughs> But you were much easier to get in. <laughs> oh, look, the mat's here still. Let's get a measure for the hell of it. No, get to the end. Yeah, yep, yep. You had enough? Yeah, the mat's probably really hot. Sorry, mate. I didn't think of that. But you're on it now, so you may as well give me a measurement. Uh, 35, 30, yeah, 36, actually. There you go. Much, much smaller take him over and see if he's bigger or smaller than the first one I got. He may be a tiny bit bigger. Tiny bit. Yeah. 
not by much only by about a centimeter but here's my stick that snapped several times you get a knock too mate thanks for coming to play see you later well the ants are having a feast it's been very slow but i'm having fun <laughs> Mate, your ass can be bird food swimming that close to the surface by yourself. Well, I'm going to drown the worms for about another 30 minutes, but I thought I'd come over and do one final check of my shrimp net and see if I managed to even get anything at all for the day in it. <laughs> After this, if there's nothing in it, I'll pull it out and let it dry out before I put it in the car. Well, either way, probably I'll leave it out. And nothing again. Disappointment on the shrimp front. I just did my outro saying I've caught three fish and another one's come along. Yep, got him. You beauty. Nope, it's a turtle. <laughs> One of my regular viewers from the United States, Dave Hendricks, always says, when are you going to catch a turtle? When are you going to catch a turtle? And I've said to him, I catch so many usually, it's, it's rare that I go this long without getting one. Well, here you go, Dave. Here is one freshwater turtle. Come on, mate. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, oh, he's safely unhooked. He's got his head tucked in under there, if you can see that. I'll just pop him in the edge and he should take off. Go on. No, he's a bit freaked out. Off you go. <laughs> He'll take off when he's ready, I guess. Go on, mate. There he goes. Well, unfortunately, that's a part of fishing. I don't like catching them, but that was a turtle. There you go. <laughs> In the outro, I'm not going to mention the turtle because I've already recorded that. So <laughs> you're going to see the outro after this saying I only caught the three fish. Well, I caught three fish and a turtle. <laughs> well, after a very slow start, I've managed three carp in three hours. <laughs> so after a very slow start, I had a very slow finish. But one of them was a huge fat mama that dragged me out to the middle of the lagoon. It was a lot of fun. There are fish here, but I found putting my bait closer to the, to the shoreline I got more bites and, and a bigger fish. <laughs> I've had fun anyway. Hopefully you had fun watching. I'll see you in the next one.